Today's job, fitting a roof fan. So ventilation is a really important part of your van because when I fill it full of wet caulking kit, I need all that liquid to actually go somewhere. So um, what I've gone for is the there we are. This big old thing. Um, so this is one of the larger ones. It's like um, 40 by 40 as opposed to the smaller is around 28. But the difference is it's got a stomping great big fan in it. So these are sort of the, the quote unquote standard thing you can go for. Um, but as you can see, it's not exactly small. Um, so what I've got to do to get this on is, well, cut a broken bit hole in the ceiling. Plonk this through the top, lots of mastic sealant over the top, we'll film that later, and um, yeah, build a frame for it to sit underneath. So effectively the gap here needs to be filled with some sort of wood wood framework so that the other half of it can go on the other side. So it reasonably simple, just a bit scary because you're cutting yet another hole in your van, which the window is bad enough. This is uh, it's on the top. So yeah, let's see how it goes. What we need is some wood. So I'm just gonna do a simple like run round. So this is just the right length, which is good. So before I go on the roof, I wanna make sure I've got everything marked out as best I can on the bottom. I'm then gonna drill four holes in the corners and then um, saw it all out with the jigsaw on the top. The roof's not flat. So what I'm gonna do is cut um, ridges to match the ridges that are in uh, in the roof here, the sort of lips here and here, so that this wooden frame attaches directly on to the metal work. And watch as it goes from like this to so it's not exactly perfect, and the frame itself isn't perfect, but it's at least now in a rigid spot, reasonably solid. And once it's screwed down, that will help um, support across the rivets. So uh, now I'm going to drill some holes. So it's quite difficult to actually film what I'm going to do on top of this roof because there's nowhere really safe for me to sit that doesn't risk damaging everything. So uh, just going to have to make do with a uh, bum shot uh, from underneath while I'm laying on top of this trying to use a jigsaw. There's a hole! I can finally stand up in this thing, it's great! <laughs> for now, anyway, for the only time ever. So, key question is does the fan fit? <laughs> a bit of leeway. And this side. Balked it! I've balked it, haven't I? It's just not quite right. Who's got money on attempt number two? Make sure we get the right way around. It's going in this way. And watch as it just fits like a glove. Yeah, boy! Look at that! Is it perfect? No, not, not really. Uh, but there's plenty of flange. Flange. So this next step is to mastic everything in. So as you see, I've got these ridges in um, the roof of the van. So I need to make sure that these are all watertight for the flat um, surface to go on top after. Now, this is a bit of a bugger. So uh, you have to excuse the ludicrous amounts of swearing that I'm probably not gonna put on the video. But simply putting it down, putting the paper off, as you can see, is not as simple as you'd wish. So I've had to take to the normal advice is to push it down quite hard to begin with but I just can't do it and get the paper off at the same time. So what I'm doing is getting it off and then going back in with some pressure. Now I don't need to go nuts here because the um, when I actually come to put the screws in it's going to compress it all down anyway but I'm, certainly in this first layer I want to make sure it's got a decent amount of contact before going any further. This is Maastricht. It's fantastic. That was a long day's work. <laughs> so uh, I made it on. It's um, 
it's gone to the frame and it's screwed in, silk effects everywhere and masticated everywhere. Um, so I had a few issues in those last bits, I couldn't really film it easily so I'm just going to have to explain it really. Um, firstly, I the mastic, I feel like I got right, I put a decent amount in there, made sure it was really nice and flat on top um, with a decent layer to squish into, so I'm happy with that but it did spew out a bit and I was like fine, we can fix that. What I can't fix quite as easily is I put a whole tube of silk effects on the bottom of the um, fan before putting it on there and it spewed everywhere <laughs> and took a right, a right load of effort to get rid of um, to put in a sensible amount. Um, I've seen some people have actually put a seal around the outside. I haven't done that because I'm like, oh, I may go back and do that later. But um, yeah, highly recommend wearing gloves so that you don't have your hands permanently covered in silk effects like now I have. Um, hopefully I don't get turbo skin cancer. Um, but yeah, um, other, other thing was my frame was, wasn't quite square because I bodged it basically. I, I didn't have a right angle tool I should have done and um, what I meant was actually when we started screwing into it, um, it all started not fitting in place so ended up unscrewing all, like the four pan, um, the four lengths like douche 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 and um, screwing into each one on their own pretty much other than the first two because um, it doesn't matter like all of this is going to get boarded over the top you won't see a thing um, yes it gives you a bit more of an air gap potentially but aside from that there's no real problem with this so I'm quite happy with the fact that while it didn't work we we're able to, able to recover the situation so if we have a quick look we can see hopefully uh, yeah it's in the top so where these sections originally went in uh, you see those markers for the B, there wasn't space so I effectively had to take it out, unscrew it and then allow it to go um, like sink in a bit more as you can see there and same on the other corners um, that was just enough space to allow it to fit in <laughs> because I've bought a van that is just big enough to fit something this size I guess another retrospective this is a big fan I didn't necessarily need one of the biggest fans I could order for what isn't a huge van but uh, no, I'm, I'm very happy actually. Um, it just goes up like that. And I'm not going to do it now because I'm not sure that silk effects is completely dry yet. Um, and as I said before, the that frame is just in line with everything else, meaning I can put wooden batons over the top and then put this over the top of that, meaning it's going to look re hopefully really slick and flush to everything else. Um, so yeah, of all the projects to do, Definitely the scariest. I'm hoping everything else is a bit less nerve-wracking than this one. Even doing the side door was uh, a, bit, a bit more friendly than this was. As you can probably see, the uh, the edging is professionally done and not a smidge on any of it, other than all of it. Um, I'm waiting for it to dry, then I'm going to take the lid off tomorrow.